Hi, my name is Robert Durian and I have FSGS. My name is Kimberly and I'm battling FSGS. My name is Mateo and I'm seven years old and I have a kidney disease that is called nephrotic syndrome. My name is Tanya and this is Daniel Mahathan. We are the parents of Mateo. My name is Dana. I'm 14 years old, going into ninth grade. I have nephrotic syndrome. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm 13. I'm going to eighth grade and I have nephrotic syndrome. I was diagnosed to basically having kidney stones. After they found the kidney stones, I followed up with my primary doctor and they noticed there is a high uh, amount of protein in my urine. When Mateo was two years old, we were vacationing in Mexico. One morning, he wake up and he was really puffy. I first had swollen eyes when I would wake up. My eyes were completely swollen shut and I had pitting edema in my legs and it was pretty severe. We're very shocked and scared. Um, we didn't know what was going on. I have taken several medications from steroids through immunosuppressant through injections. When I was first diagnosed, I was given 60 milligrams of prednisone and me and prednisone do not work well together at all because it lowered my immune system and I worked with children, which ended up leading to a strep in my bloodstream, septic shock. The esteroids, um, we had to deal with side effects and the side effects uh, would be mood swings, he would gain weight, he was very hungry. Some of the side effects from, from Prograph. It's usually um, headaches, nausea, vomiting. It's really a lot. I gained about 35 pounds after my first trial, being on prednisone for a year, and being on immunosuppressants for 15 months slowed me down tremendously as I'm an active cyclist and kayaker and I felt tired all the time. When I had my kidney transplant and the FSGS reoccurred, I've tried a little bit of everything, high steroids, plasma phoresis, two doses of rituximab. Every time we tried to decrease the doses, he would relapse again. Having a relapse, I feel tired, I feel headache, I feel stomach ache, and when there's too much noise, it like, it like bothers me. When a relapse happens, usually my face gets swollen sometimes. But most of it's stomach pain. We used to travel around uh, every every weekend. Uh, we used to, we like to go places, and now we you know we have to stop because he cannot be exposed to to the sun. He cannot go to the uh, cold weather. He cannot eat outside in the restaurants. I try to be positive, but there are definitely those moments when it's like, oh, I just don't look like myself. None of my clothes are fitting. Like just very puffy, very uncomfortable in your own body, um, especially when you're like in middle school and I think a lot of that stuff like is really beginning to matter, especially the way that you look. Usually I have to miss school and if I miss school for like, you know, days or periods of time, you know, I have to make the workout. <laughs> Usually it's a lot of work. I don't like about this disease that I can't eat stuff with salt like hot dogs, french fries, and I have to eat broccoli with no salt. And another thing that I don't like is when I have to go to the hospital every time and when they poke me to get blood out of my uh, body. It's a very hard journey. I've definitely been through it um, from being in a coma with septic shock, to be in a fluid overload, to now being on dialysis for the second time at the age of 34. Nefcure gives me hope and also given has given me resources and relationships with other patients to talk about the disease and spread the awareness, which is just as important as research. We wish to find a cure. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no other wish. What I wish for medicine that would still keep things under control, but also be something that doesn't affect you in a really overbearing sort of way. Just give grace to people, even though you don't know what they're going through. Help us, help us, all the kids, they're suffering for this rare disease. Uh, and I know that if we get together, we're gonna find a cure.
I cannot thank everybody enough in the room for funding this great, great uh, cause. Thanks to everyone who showed up today. Of course, big thank you to Nafkir for literally everything that they've done. They're incredible and they just help in such an amazing way. Um, so thank you.